what's up guys so welcome to this video so i want you to pay very very good attention because i'm going to teach you something if you notice you notice i've been analyzing each, each of my analysis I always basically show you top down analysis on what to expect in fact this particular panel so i analyzed it last week where we expect it to break out of here or here before we enter so i'm going to teach you how to you know trade aud usd all right so i'm going to teach you how to trade this pair in 15 minutes time frame all right so in fact I, I even took the trade today so i'm going to show you the setup why i take the trade and what will really happen remember as based on our kind of analysis last week i was telling you guys to wait for market to break out of here for long-term trade you understand for position trading whereby you see a clear because the market is consolidating inside here but if you are a scalper then you know that this within this range you can still trade are you getting it or if you are trading within five minutes and 15 minutes so this video is basically showing you how let's say you're trading small account or you don't want to how to actually trade in 15 minutes time frame using what your usd the strategy you can apply it in any pair all right so pay very close attention if you have not watched my video on top down analysis or this video which i did last week go and check the link in the description you're going to see it all right so or at the end of this video, you're going to see the, the that particular video so that you watch it. Okay, so pay attention. Last we already established that. Having established this now, what happened? Which trade did I take today that I'm going to show you, which is what you can apply anytime you are trading or you can use it in 15 minutes time frame. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. So if you take a look at this, we discover we have a kind of uh, ranging market here, where market is from here to here. Though right now the market is preparing to break out of here, now so what happened last week the market will say okay no okay last week when i was analyzing we draw a fibonacci here even though i told you guys that you should be able to wait if you are a type that hold trade for long so that the, this place will clear so either this market move all the way down to this place or the market head up but you can as well wait for it to clear so what really happened which trade did i take i trade today remember our overall in this market is down so having established the fact that the market now later within this week the market starts heading down okay which you can see it in four how i see you see all these berries candle let me zoom in so that you'll be able to see what i'm talking about so what did i do having marked this level and this level and here is a fifth level so since the market break the counter trend line we draw a counter trend line last week Remember, I told you last week I drew a counter trend line. I was telling you that if you want to to short this market, you have to wait for this market to break. So if you short here, that's good. But what about someone that is trading in five minutes, fifteen minutes time frame? How do you approach it? See, let me tell you exactly what I did. So what I did is that I come to fifteen minutes time frame. Watch what I did. When I come to fifteen minutes time frame, then here is it. So in 15 minutes time frame, you will discover that, okay, that the market, see what happened here. Market was around here, then this market break down from here. As you can see, this particular candle, I'm going to show you that later on. You see, this candle break below here, you see it, which remember here is more like a support. You see, this is a key support level, then market break out and start retesting. Only no man, pay attention to this. Especially if you are a beginner, pay attention because what is here you're going to it's going to save you money, not to blow your account. See what's happened. As market break here, if you start retesting, normally what you will do is see some people just come here, they will just put their pending order, suspecting that there's emerging market reaches for it to start reversing. But market did not reverse from this point. What happened? You discover market pull back up to this level. Why? What really happened? You see what I did? What I did immediately, I noticed that this market break below here. I just pick my trend line, pay attention so that you can apply it. When you're analyzing, watch this. What I did is that I pick my trend line from here. I draw it all the way up from here. All right. Then connect it to this place. Okay. This is what I did. So when markets come here, the next thing I did is that I, I pull my foot level. Fibonacci, then draw it from here all the way down here, which is I connect this point to this point. So when this market start retracing, normally you may decide to enter here, but I did not enter. What happened? You wait whenever you are using full level, 
we normally wait for market to enter this place but that is not enough when market to reach this level if i want you to pay attention leave whatever you're doing i want you to put this video in a full script so that you understand this if you pay attention to this it's going to save you a lot of money and also make you to make money because by the time you didn't enter wrong trade then your account will not be reducing all right so if you see here now you discover that whenever you are trading and market break out like this and you notice that the market start pulling back if you draw your fib level and there is a trend line around here in most cases when market reaches, as you can see here, the market starts reversing. Are you getting it? This market start reversing. Normally, you are expected to sell here. But I noticed that there is, if this, there is a time I used to lose money in this kind of setup. I'm telling you, I want you to pay attention. What will normally happen? Let me zoom in so that you understand. I want you to pay attention. So this level, let's say normally you know, you, you, you know, you know how to trade Fibonacci. Are you getting it? Which means when market reach here, you are going to enter. Normally, you are going to enter here. But there is one thing I have noticed. Each time there is a first touch here, as you can see, there is a first touch here. There is a second touch here, and market is retracing. If market retraces to this level, it will do like if you want to start heading down. The next thing, the market will come back and touch here. On the process, is going to hold stop loss. As you can see here, it is noticed that these candles here just busy run all the stop loss that i have because if you enter here this quarter there's a stop loss here so this thing have happened to me before now as a result of that what i normally do you have to pay attention see so what what you will do to save yourself from this is step number one is to draw your counter trend line if you use your counter trend line and connect remember immediately market reach here, you will think that the market will leave you that you have missed the trade if you did not enter here but what normally happens is the market will pull back and create a second leg. Are you getting me? As you can see here, I, I'm telling you, I have tested this over time. So market will pull back and create a second leg. Then push back. Those who enter here now, the market will come and hold their stop loss. What is this market trying to do? The market is to is trying to, you know, fulfill some key levels to, to you know touch all the key levels in this case which is the top touch of this trend line are you getting it it's not like the market is chasing you or following you anywhere you follow are you getting it so what normally happens is that the market is trying to touch give us a third touch so and what can give you room to be able to accommodate those movement is a situation where you, you did not enter here remember if not that we have top third touch here this place is a good setup to enter are you getting me it's a good place to enter your trade. But I have noticed that if there is a third touch close by, the market always tend to pull back after it takes the first move. It comes back to retest that level before it takes the actual move. Are you getting it? So that is what I watch. I watch it very closely. When market reach here, then I notice it pulls back. So if you are able to put, let me remove this so that you can see what I'm saying. If you're able to use this trend line to be able to short the market, then it is good. Or even if you don't use trend line, if you wait here, the second approach you can do is you wait until this market come and touch here. Are you getting it? Give you the third touch. When you see the third touch, then you can be able to see when market reject out of that zone, you can be able to short. And in this case, even if you short here, let's say imagine that you use, you wait until the market touch and put your stop loss above here, which means you can be able to ride this move. I'm not telling you this is a trade I take today. In fact, today is when the market hit. Let me just show you something. If you come to my private group, as you can see, it, you see it here that I sent it in the group. You understand? My private group for you know for them to take the trade. Are you getting it? If you scroll down here, you will see where the market starts heading down and everybody is making profit. I'm not telling you what I did not, the trade I did not take, or just pick one chart and start showing you. No, I'm telling you that I actually take advantage of this. So make sure you always pay attention to this. What did I say? Let me kind of recap. Let me do a kind of recap so that you understand what I'm saying. If if you see a fourth a market break out and start retracing, and you notice that there is first touch a kind of trend line above it, when that market starts retracing, what is good for you to do is to draw a good level. Sometimes you can just pick it from here, from the top all the way down to this level. Then you'll be waiting for this market at a fib level. All right. 
So if market come to FIB level, your thought will be that you will start thinking that market touch will start heading down. But what normally happen, especially if this market moves straight, if there is a power move, watch here. You see, there is a power move from this point straight to here. It's a different case. Maybe the market start moving sideways, sideways until you reach here. It's a different case. But if there is a power move straight to this place, then what normally happen, the market will come down a bit, create this wave. You have to do create this wave before you start getting or the process of creating this wave it end up touching this it may be expected to come say touch it no it will start moving it may be probably sometimes it may even touch around this region are you getting it so that's what you need to pay attention to all right so don't forget if you find value in this apply this strategy in 15 minutes time frame or any any pair all right but in this case actually take advantage of it in 15 minutes time frame on AUD US, all right, you can apply it in any pair and it's going to work. Just make sure you test it. Back test it, check out and see how it works. For me, it works very well. As you can see, even up to now, the market is still heading down. You know, we are waiting for AUD. Since all this, as you can see, the market, the market have actually break out below here. So from subsequent time, make sure you subscribe so that you will be able to know what next to do, what you do next concerning your, your uh, uh, AUD USD. Okay. So as this market is breaking, I know we have been waiting for this market to break down. I take about 55% uh, of my position. So some of my position is still on in this particular trade. All right. So we are expecting this market. We have this, this space. All right. You see this space from here to here. So make sure you subscribe so that you can be able to see the nice setup, you know, just like I upload this one or you will be able to see my thought. Don't forget every week i always you know make a video all right share to your friends and show them this particular strategy they can implement to become profitable just like you are learning all right that's it for today thank you peace out